It's not a point of order. The, the member knows that. Uh, question number 11, Brendan Horan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Associate Minister of Transport, is he satisfied that everything is being done to maintain Kiwi Rail safety? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Uh, yes, and can I take this opportunity in Rail Safety Week to commend the great work that Kiwi Rail and the Chris Kens Foundation are doing right now to raise awareness about the dangers around rail tracks and crossings right. for pedestrians. Yeah. Brendan Horan. How can he claim that rail safety is being maintained when rotten sleepers remain in place at critical locations on the rail network? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, Speaker, I think it's worth uh, taking this in context. There are some 7,000 hardwood uh, sleepers that are showing signs of premature decay. That's 0.12 per cent of the 6 million odd sleepers in the network. Kiwi Rail is taking this very seriously. They've taken action to test, to inspect and replace the sleepers and have assured uh, me and the public that they would not run services if they considered that there was any risk to public safety. Brandon Horan. How can he claim that rail safety is being maintained when almost 200 Kiwi Rail maintenance staff are being made redundant despite the backlog of maintenance, including thousands of rotten railway sleepers not yet replaced? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Mr. Speaker, well, because the turnaround plan that Kiwi Rail is instituting is about business sustainability and putting precious funds to their best possible uses, but in no way, shape or form is this compromising safety. Brandon Horan. Given the extent of rotten sleepers at critical level crossings, will he take responsibility for any accidents that occur through a failure of those sleepers? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Speaker, I'm not aware of any safety issues where uh, sleepers are leading to safety issues. Of the two cases where uh, sleepers that were decaying could possibly have caused uh, uh, derailments, uh, they weren't, as I understand it, near level crossings. Question number 12, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr.